I'm Paris Boothia, medical esthetician. My job is to make both men and women look and feel their best using an invasive treatment, whole food, and good skincare product. Every Friday, I drop a video and I answer all the questions that you send me on my DM, social media, and even on our website. So today, it's another Friday, and I'm about to answer one question that I've received from so many Paris, why do people go for massages? Is it even important? Who go for massage? Is it a medical thing or is it just something people do for leisure? What are the benefits? Well, I am not going to answer this question alone. Today, I am again with a registered nurse. Her name is Shabti. I'm going to let her introduce herself before we continue. Hello, she will doing this with me. I'm and sanitize because we've been touching things. <laughs> People, you know, you see, social distancing, we can try. And we also have masks, but we've been tested. We don't have COVID, so we're trying. But anyway, our topic today is about massage. A lot of people have written to me asking Paris, as a medical institution, I know you do with skin and you also do with the whole body because we do body contouring, we do massages and all that. So, what are the benefits of massage and why should I take one and why should I even think of massage? Now, I need you to first start by explaining to me what is massage. Now, massage, it's the best way to relax yourself to begin with. If I was to do a massage on you, the moment I start motions in your body, it sends messages to your mind and your mind becomes relaxed. So your whole well-being will need to be relaxed. Now apart from the fact of being relaxed, there are also other problems that can be solved by massage, like pain, back pain, leg pains, neck pains, all that can be sorted with massage. Really? And do you know a lot of have, people have this myth that uh, massage is a waste of time and money and uh, those people who go for massages, ah, oh, no, go. It's why they say, no, I should go. I am questioning them. Ah, are they really good? You know, this word have been, guys, this, you know, I'm going to go straight and say it, really, on record. A lot of people have abused this word massage, yeah? There are some people who even say, we're giving massage with happy eddy. What is that, right? So it has really made this word massage sort of become dirty word, yeah? And so when you tell people you're going for massage, and that's why I have to really answer this question. When you say, I'm going for massage, you're not like, really? They look at you like, you go for massage, it's one of those, you know? So I needed you as a registered nurse and somebody who work in a medical clinic to tell us the benefit of massages and really from what age should one even think for, you know, think of massage. Now, a wonderful thing about massage. Yes. If I was to start massaging you again, what happens is that I increase that motion increases your blood circulation. Right. Now, if you have proper blood circulation, that means enough oxygen is being circulated all over your body. Mm -hmm. Messages are being sent to the brain. Mm -hmm. You can think right. Mm -hmm. You can remember things. Mm -hmm. You are not confused. Mm -hmm. You're accurate. Mm -hmm. You're accurate. You, you think straight. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing, it goes talking about your stomach. You have any digestion problems, but right. if you have the right oxygen circulating to your stomach, mm -hmm. that means you've gotten rid of the digestion problems. Yes. We're talking about pain management. Mm -hmm. You're having pain. Mm -hmm. Athlet, athletics. People who are uh, in sports. Yes. People in sports. Yes. They're having muscle. How often should they have this massage? You should have them at least once a week if you're able to, yeah. depending on what kind of massage are you getting. Okay. Now, this medical massage. Yes. yes. This is first by the right. doctor. Yes. It can be done daily basis okay. or on alternate days, okay. depending on the improvement of the patient. But that has to be prescribed by your but doctor, not you deciding you're going time. to have a massage every day. Exactly. Let me add to that because I'm all about skin. Yes. Did you know that you can do this massage? And the face massage will actually help with tightening the skin. And we do something called lymphatic massage, yeah, whereby now it makes things move the way they're supposed to. And when you finish, like for example, just on camera, I can quickly tell people that if you wanted to tighten your neck, 
here. You can actually do massages that help with that, yeah? If you wanted to tighten this part, this massage, because even when we use machines, some of them, the way we are targeting uh, what we call where this ma every muscle is through literally doing a sort of massage movement, right? Would you agree with me? I agree with you, totally. So when we say massage, we are saying it's a good thing for you. It's a good thing. And one more thing. Now, if I'm to do a massage on you, of course I'm going to use a massage they are rich in nutrients, they are rich in vitamin B, yes. they are rich in vitamin C. Yes. Now if I use it on your skin, what yes. am I doing to your skin? Mm -hmm. I'm making it look younger, True. I'm making it look supple, True. moist. True. So you have healthy skin. So would you then agree with me that not everybody can give massage? Sure. For example, me, I'm not a massage. I swear, I can't do massage. Yes, I work in a clinic. I'm lucky in a minute, but I can't do massage because I'm not trained to do massage. You have to really know the techniques of where are you supposed to touch in order to relieve that pain you're talking about. If I have back pain, you need to know where to touch. So it's very important for somebody to figure, to find out, to do their own little research and where am I going for this massage? Yes, the right yeah. massage yeah. that will have this, the, the person who knows where am I going to touch, mm -hmm. what message, what reflexes am I going to wake up so they can get my massage. Because I understand like the flexorative massage is actually, you can actually target certain yes. organs. There are, there are certain organs that are fixed, they are all connected. Okay. Yes. Like for example, when you're giving a leg massage, yes. you know there are points where I know if I hit here, I'm hitting the leg. Nice. Yes. If I, hit here, yes. if I hit here, it increases your body size. So massage is not just massage. Yes. Massage is not just about, it's not like service. Wow. It's not all about battery, yeah. it's about increasing your blood circulation, it's about relaxation. If you're relaxed, you think better, don't push your more productive. And more importantly, it reduces stress to yes. Right? Because who's not stressed? Yes. Everyone is. I think most of us are stressed, wouldn't you say that? Right. So honestly, thank you so very much for joining us today. And people now you know. You know that massage is for everybody. You don't have to wait until your doctor prescribes your massage because now your back is gone. You can start drawing it regularly just to make sure that your blood is flowing the way it should. You can do face massage. Yes, that will make you look youthful. You will love how you look. So continue lighting to me as usual. I love to hear from you and I will drop a video every Friday. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so. It's free and you get to ask me all the questions you have about skin, skin care, skin treatment and I'll be happy to choose one question every Friday and do a video to answer it. So please subscribe and remember this. Health is wealth. Take care of yourself because without good health, you feel nothing. Till next time, I love you, God love you.